Hey guys, it's Tyler of Ty Fishes. Today I'm out here bass fishing as usual. And I just caught this bass. This is my fifth one of the day. I caught my first fish of the day on my very first cast with the uh with the uh little rattle trap. <coughs> and I've lost two, caught five, that was the fifth one I've landed. It, it'll go slow for a little bit and you won't get really any bites, and then you'll just start getting a couple, so I think they're moving around, kind of schooled up a little bit. But uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get on a couple more fish. i got a new lure that I want to try out today, so we'll see how that works in a little bit. Alright guys, just caught this fish. As you saw, it was two casts after the last fish. So like I said, it had been slow for probably about five minutes. And then I caught that last one. And then I just got this one right here. Nice little fish, probably a pound and three quarters. I got a rattle trap stuck on my pants. Alright, now we're good. Let's see if we can't get a few more. Number six for the day. Maybe not. Little fish. On the rattle trap. Hooked him. Oh, man. I'm sorry, dude. Look at that. You know that's pretty bad. Yeah. Ow, that went into my finger. Oh, well that one popped that easy. Alright, probably gonna switch it up. Throw a soft plastic. These fish are very, like, feisty. They're fighting hard today. First couple fought hard. That's about the only one that didn't fight really hard. He is small. Alright, guys, so. I just tied on the top water because there have been bass busting everywhere. Um, what I tied on was this little, not little, but it's a heating chugging spook. And uh, probably not the best thing to be throwing this on fluorocarbon, but that's all I got other than 10 pound mono on my other rod. And the rattle trap's been doing better than this because I had a soft plastic on this rod. So we're going to see if we can't get a fast to blow up on this. 
Nothing on the spook. Might start heading out of here in a little bit if I don't catch any more fish. And my mom's getting me at 7. And it is 6.05. And I just found a buzz bait. So this is pretty nice. Just look down. Saw this little black buzz bait on the ground. Sweet. I'm gonna throw a rattle trap now though. Sucks because it's incoming tide and I really like fishing here at low tide. It's when they fish uh, the fish bite a lot better, so I'll see. Okay guys, so I caught six fish. Definitely coming back out here tomorrow. Uh, the rattle trap and the uh, spook just kind of it didn't really work. Um, toward the end, I don't know. The bite just like turned off as soon as that tide started coming in. I really like it back there at low tide because all the fish seem to be more active, and they're for the past like two weeks or three bleh, or three weeks they've been right up on the banks here. So, they're less active at high tide, but toward like a slack tide and an outgoing tide, and then all during low tide, it's like really good with a rattle trap. So, I'm going to get back out here tomorrow, and I'll get back to you guys when I'm out here. Alright guys, so, today has really sucked. I've been out here pretty much all day. I think I've been out here like six hours. And you know how many fish I've caught? Two. Two fish. And I ripped the hole in my pants. And I ripped the hole in my boots. And I lost a bunch of rattle traps. So it's not the best day. I've also lost two fish right at the bank. So, if you don't see a lot of fish from the day, it's because they're not consistent enough and it's not a good day. Found a couple things yesterday. I found a jerk bait, black fuzz bait, and a little swim bait. But, I mean, Hopefully something will happen. These fish will start biting. And I'll get to record a little bit. Or maybe I'll come out here tomorrow. And have some better luck than I did today. But uh, I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. Hopefully I'll have a fish by then. Okay guys, so I'm back. It's day three. This is my second fish of the day. have not been able to get any like consistent bite today so tried to rattle trap early in the morning when I first got here nothing tried a whole bunch of other stuff buzz bait other well, swim bait stuff like that still nothing so I finally tied on the rattle trap again this time a little bit bigger caught one had another one hit it at the bank and I caught that one so hopefully now I can get on a consistent bite set up the tripod and get some footage from the day because I caught two bass and a little bluegill and a crappie. So I'll see you guys in a minute and I'll try to catch a couple more fish. Number three, right here. Two casts after the last one, and I haven't been able to get on a steady bite all day. About time. Probably pound and a half, maybe pound and three quarters. Nice little fish. You're going the wrong way. All right, he went the right way now. He went the wrong way at first. So, Maybe I can catch some more fish now. We'll see. <laughs> All 
Alright guys, so just lost another rattle trap. I really like that one because it caught me the first three fish of the day. But tied on one that's a little bit smaller, kind of the same like dark back color. Or like not the dark back like pattern. Not really the sides, but it's still shining a little bit. Caught this little guy, fourth one of the day. Oh, it's not been a good day. Only caught four. Ah, I guess I really can't complain with four. Yesterday I caught two. But I did lose another rattle trap, so that makes three for this weekend. So, not too happy about that, but we'll see. Okay, guys, so I just caught this striper on the uh, tube jig kind of set, set up. On the bottom, I had this little teeny tiny underspin. Gosh, he bent the hook on that. But I uh, saw this guy chasing his little shiner. I'm going to measure him real quick. See if he's legal or not. Might be a little skinny, but he's legal at the striper. And in the, at the end of the day, I'm going to eat that. So I'm going to measure this guy real quick, and I will let you guys know if he's legal or not. So this guy is not actually 20. He's 19 inches, so I'm going to let this guy go. And I'm going to actually keep on the tube jig now. See if I can catch him. Maybe a keeper this time? Okay, caught him right over there, walked through all this, and just pitched it out there, and he bit the little underspin. I'm going to see if we can't get a few more real quick. Alright, got another rockfish, another, uh, again on the little underspin, same general area, this one's a little fatter but shorter. They're eating all these shiners, first decent bite. Yeah, I've been able to get on all day, so kind of happy about that. They keep bending the hook out on this thing. Maybe I'll be able to start recording while I'm catching them, but it's going to be kind of difficult. I don't know. I'll try. All right, guys. So I just caught this slab crappy. This thing is huge. Caught that on the same thing as I caught that rockfish on. So I'm probably going to actually keep this and eat it because this is like really big. That's a lot of meat on that. So I'm going to weigh him real quick and I will get a length on him real quick and I will let you guys know how all that goes. Okay guys, so this thing is 12 inches and I'm about to weigh him. To up to date, my biggest crappy is 1.24. See if this breaks that. Not quite, guys. I don't know if you can see it or not, but this one is 1.08. So, close to the biggest crappie I've ever caught. Still a nice crappie. So, I'm going to take this guy home. This will be dinner tonight, unless I catch another rockfish or a nice crappie like this guy. Okay, guys. So, this probably sounds really bad because it's windy. But it's the end of the day. It's the end of the weekend. It's the end of the video. So it's raining a little bit, so I gotta get this camera put away quick. But I got this crappy here that I'm eating for dinner. For, unfortunately, I only got the one, but I'll probably come out uh, another day and try to catch a couple more at a different spot that's really good for them. And I'll probably eat them all together on a separate night. But I'm getting picked up now. It's raining. It's the end of the day and everything. So, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video.